Uwezo 2011 Annual Learning Assessment, which was conducted in Uganda in April within a period of two weeks in 80 districts within 48,000 households in 2,400 villages and 2,400 schools were visited by a team of 4,800 volunteers. The volunteers assessed 88,373 children between the ages of 6 to 16 on simple P2 tasks in literacy and mathematics from the households. Results of Uwezo 2011 assessment that was carried out throughout Uganda indicate that there were no gender differences in English reading comprehension competences at both lower and upper primary levels. Last week our teacher told us a story. Mm -hmm. It was about an old man. Mm -hmm. His name was Okelo. Mm -hmm. His wife was called Nora. Mm -hmm. They had four children. Of all the class P3 children sampled across the country, slightly more girls, about 7.2%, could read and understand an English story text of P2 level difficulty compared to boys about 6.8 percent. Jane likes singing. Their teacher likes them. He took them to the zoo. They saw many animals. They were happy. Who is Sarah's friend? Jane. Who does Jane like? Jane likes singing. One out of every five that is, 22% of all class P3 children sampled across Uganda were not able to solve numerical written division sums of P2 level difficulty correctly. Till now, the number of children in P3 who cannot read and understand a P2 text are still very many. Nine out of ten children in P3 still cannot understand the P2 test. That is something which we should be concerned about as a country. That is something that we must eradicate. The other thing is that seven out of 10 children cannot do a math test that we get. Now, these are simple tests, as you should be able to see. But indeed, these are tests that could not be done by these numbers of children. The type of schools attended by the children sampled across the country, whether government-aided or private schools, had relatively limited influence on the children's English reading comprehension in upper primary compared to lower primary level. Private schools did better in English reading comprehension competences, 17.5% among class P3 children sampled compared to government-aided schools, that is 4.1%. This difference is considerably reduced among class P7 children sampled across the country. He took them to the zoo. They saw many animals. They were happy. The information and relevance of parents visiting the school to talk about a child's learning had a positive influence on children's competences in both English reading comprehension and division mathematics. The impact was 40% on all class P3 to P7 pupils, compared to only 34% for pupils whose parents did not visit the school in the past one year to talk about the child's learning. The results indicate that parents' level of education had a positive and relative influence on children's competences in English reading comprehension and division mathematics, 
with mother's level of education having more relative influence than the father's level of education. For children whose parents are visiting schools, we are finding that that has got a positive influence on their ability to read and to do math. That is a very useful thing. So we want to encourage that parents across the country should take the issue of visiting schools seriously. But for mothers who have got some education, we find that their children have got better ability to read and do maths. And I think this is something that we want to ask that as a country we should embrace. Because actually the findings are that 6 out of 10 of the children in primary 3 whose mothers uh, were had post-primary education could read and understand. 6 out of 10. And I think that's a huge amount of children and that means that actually mother's education has got a positive impact on children's learning. Coaching or private tuition had relatively limited influence on children's competences in English reading comprehension and division mathematics in upper primary level compared to lower primary. The results also indicate that provision of some form of midday meals had a positive influence on children's competences in reading comprehension. Rose has one hair. Her hair is white. It is a fat hair. Ninety-two percent of all class P3 to P7 pupils sampled across the country whose parents reported providing some form of midday meals could read and understand an English story text of class P2 level difficulty compared to only 88 percent pupils whose parents were not able to provide any form of midday meals. Some schools find difficulty in accommodating pupils in each class because of lack of classrooms. Yes, it is not rare to witness more than four or five pupils seated on one bench, which disables them from writing with ease and accuracy. Oweso <coughs> 2011 annual assessment results bring out Eastern Region as being of concern as few children, that is only 26%, have been able to solve simple tasks of P2 level literacy and numerical correctly. The assessment impacted on the northern parts of Uganda, which had wars in the last couple of decades with an average of 30% of P2 level difficulty tasks solved correctly. In the western region, competencies are at 39%, with central having an average of 44%. We know that Weso, through this process, is giving us the evidence that we require to take action. The low figures are an indication that more efforts need to be put into the children's learning process Uwezo appealed to government to ensure that the billions of shillings spent on education actually deliver learning outcomes through motivation of teachers and provision of textbooks in schools.